Julian Robb, these court documents claim this La Petite here near 108th and Birch did not do a thorough background check before hiring Mark Mays. Now, the attorney representing two families is demanding answers and asking for millions of dollars in damages. One month after this former daycare worker was sentenced for two counts of sexual assault of a child and two counts of manufacturing child pornography, La Petite Academy is hit with two lawsuits. We want to know why they let him change these little girls' diapers when they promised the families that he would not. Jeff Herman, an attorney from Florida who specializes in sexual abuse cases, is representing two girls who were one at the time of the alleged assaults. On behalf of the two families, Herman alleges La Petite should have seen the red flags and protected the children. If they had contacted the schools and had done background checks, they would know he was not rehirable and that he was not safe to work with his because he was crossing boundaries. La Petite would not comment on the lawsuit, but did give us this statement saying in part, quote, our staff undergoes state mandated background checks our employment practices and strict protocols of care meet or exceed state and federal requirements, end quote. Meantime, in these court documents are allegations of negligence, battery, even intentional infliction of emotional distress on the children's parents. Now the families are asking for a jury trial. In this case, um, I think we're looking at an eight-figure number, meaning well over 10 million. These are these are the worst kind of assaults. I mean, these are, these are assaults on babies. The attorney says he plans to file a third lawsuit against La Petite in the coming week on behalf of another child. He says there's also a pending case against Little Hands Academy Daycare. That's also where Mays reportedly worked, too. Reporting live near 108th and Birch, Chindone, KETV, News Watch 7. Very